Good morning, this is Carrie with Southern Sass Vinyl. Today we're going to be talking about the L1800 and um, the length of prints. So I get asked, I've been asked this a lot the last couple of weeks. What is the max length that the L1800 can print? Well, what you have to remember is that your RIP software kind of takes over your printer. So normally I believe that the specs on the L1800 is it'll print up to 10 feet. So that's quite a bit but when you're printing through the rip software it overrides the normal print drivers okay so that that question kind of becomes pointless like it is it, it, you know because you can print you can um, use a roll feeder with your L1800 you just have to uh, buy the attachment for it and then you have to get um, the additional software for uh, Acrorip or Cadlink, whichever one you're using. Alright, so this particular thing that I'm fixing to print, I'm going to be moving y'all around, so if you get seasick, please close your eyes. Okay? Alright. So I'm trying not to wiggle y'all too much. So here is the design that I'm doing, and it is 13 wide by 57 long. Okay? So, we're going to I'm going to put y'all back over here. So, I'm going to show y'all that you do not have to have a roll feeder to be able to gain your images onto longer prints. All right. So, oops, sorry. Kind of had to rearrange some stuff so I could do the video and All right. So, I have my film. It's already cut. I use rolls and I just cut it to the length that I need. So I have it all set up here. Okay. I'm just going to set it down in here. With the L1800, it's a lot easier. It grabs the film better if you kind of leave it like uh, folded over like that. So I'm going to come over to my software and I'm going to go ahead and hit print. It's going to take a while because it's such a big file. So, while that's going, while it's thinking and sending the, the design to the printer, um, let's talk about the exit tray. I kind of covered it a little bit, but you'll get the gist. I just used um, a piece of uh, foam board that I got at the Dollar Store. Um, I cut it into threes and then stacked it on top of each other. And when I did... I left a small gap right here and so I just take another piece of cardboard kind of put it in that gap to make a little bit of tray like a ramp I guess to come down to my table because this is a very long piece it's 57 inches so it will actually come it's almost longer than my than my table let me show you this is a four foot table I think is what this one is oh, let's see yeah four foot table so it's gonna come off of the printer it's gonna come off of the normal uh, exit tray it'll come down the little cardboard ramp and it's gonna cover this entire table so I measured it out before before I um, before I did it and this right here is about where the film is going to end. Hang on and I'll show you. Right there. That's almost at the end of the table. It has about maybe a foot more. So because of kind of my restrictions this is about the max that I can print. Um, I've done up to 60. And that, it just hangs off the edge of this table. So that is about the, the most that I am comfortable, um, the max length, I guess you would say, that I'm comfortable printing um, just because of the way that my stuff is set up. I could add another table and probably print longer 
but I, I just don't see the point in it. Um, doing it this way does save you time, though, because Acrorip um, takes about a minute and a half for a 12 by 12 print to rip and get sent to your printer. And so this actually, it's, it, you don't think it saves you time, but it actually does when you gang these, these up on one sheet. Um, where you have to be careful is when you do um, gradients or you're not printing with white at all. You have to be very conscious of your time. You have to be conscious of how long it takes to print and then how long you actually have from the time it finishes printing to get it powdered and into the dryer. I don't have a roll feeder and I don't have an automatic um, powder uh, roller, I'm sorry, powder, however you're going to say that, and roller system. So I powder and cure by hand. So really the only benefits that printing this long does is it saves me film because I don't have that extra inch at the top and extra two inches at the bottom of each individual design. So in this case, I have one, two, three, four, five, five different designs that I've ganged on this, um, and they're all 12 inch designs. So it's gonna save me a little bit because, we're gonna just let it do its thing, it's gonna save me because I'm not gonna be wasting those two inches at the bottom. Now I do space my designs about an inch apart, and that's just so that when I'm powdering, it's easier to um, to hold the film and not have to worry about your fingers smearing it. Uh, so I leave about that inch. So that really doesn't save, but it saves at two inches on the bottom. So altogether, that's two, four, six, eight inches of film that it saves by ganging it up um, on the sheet like this. All right. So now that it's started printing, all I'm gonna do, I gotta move my chair, is I'm gonna take the film. And I'm just going to kind of tuck it back here behind the tray or the stand or whatever you want to call it, okay? And so and it just it just kind of rolls right back up on itself and it just tucks right here behind it. So I'm going to mark it and I'm going to bring y'all a little bit closer so y'all can see right on that edge. So that you can see that doing that has no effect on the printer taking the film. So you see, and I marked it right at the cardboard, and you can see it's taking it just fine. It's it's feeding it with no issues. And I even have a, a curtain back here, but I kind of have my machine pulled forward, and so that curtain doesn't impede the film. So that's the only thing that you want to make sure is that you don't have anything that's going to impede the, the, the feeding of your film. So anyway, so I hope that answers your those questions about how long you can print and um, how you can print longer than the 19 inches. Um, when you're printing through your RIP software, again, this, the, the length really just, it doesn't come into it. It's not just, it's a non-factor. Um, the only way that it would be a factor, like I said, would be if you were using a actual roll um, without trying to use the, the roll software. That would be the only way that it would become a factor and that would I've seen people do it. I don't suggest it, but I have seen people do it. And basically, they know that when the next to the last design comes, they have kind of like a cutter up here. And so they'll just go ahead and cut the film and then let it feed. Um, however, I have seen where if their cutter is dull or something like that and it hangs up on that film, then it's going to mess up those last prints because it's going to pull and it's not going to feed that film correctly um, through. And then you have a mess and you have to stop printing, clean your print head, get the smeared ink off of everything before you can start up. So I, that's the only reason um, that I don't suggest it, but I have seen people do it successfully. So again, my name is Carrie. I'm with Southern Sass Vinyl. If you have any questions, please let me know.